Hello, in this problem we're going to find the equation of the tangent plane to this surface. Let's go ahead and go through it very carefully. Solution. So the first step uh, is to set it equal to zero. So I'll start by subtracting z from both sides of this equation. So we have the arc tangent or inverse tangent of xy minus z and that's equal to zero. And so recall that if we're looking for a plane, we should be using the equation of a plane. So I'm gonna go ahead and write the equation of a plane up here. It's a times x minus x1 plus b times y minus y1 plus c times z minus z1, and that's equal to zero. So for the tangent plane, the a, b, and c is simply going to be the gradient of all of this, which we'll call big F. So recap, to find the equation of a tangent plane, set it equal to zero, call the resulting non-zero side big F, find the gradient, and that gradient is going to be your normal vector, A, B, C. So let's go ahead and find the gradient now. So recall the gradient is the vector of partial derivatives. So let's just go ahead and just do it all at once. The gradient of big F at x, y, z. Okay, this is going to be, first of all, the partial with respect to x. At x, y, z, I'll go ahead and write it, x, y, z. The partial with respect to y at x, y, z. And the partial with respect to z at x, y, and z. Okay, so the derivative of arc tangent is one over one plus x squared, right? So if you take, if it's just with respect to x, and you have tan inverse of x, the formula tells us it's one over one plus x squared. So here, um, it's the arc tan or tan inverse of xy. We have to use the chain rules. So we're taking the partial with respect to x. So it'll be one over one plus xy squared times the derivative of the inside function. So we're taking the partial with respect to x, y is a constant, the derivative of x is one, so we're left with a y. Same thing here. Oh, and the derivative of z is zero, right? Because when you're taking the partial with respect to x, everything else is constant. The z is constant, so it's zero. The y is constant, so when you take the derivative of the inside, the derivative of x is one, and the y is a constant, it just hangs out. Same thing here. The derivative of the outside function, which is arctan, is one plus xy squared. You leave the inside piece untouched, which is the xy times the derivative of the inside, which we're taking the partial with respect to y. So the derivative of y is one, x is a constant, it hangs out. Lastly, the partial with respect to z, well, this is going to be zero. There's no z's to be found in this arctangent function. So the derivative of negative z is negative one. Boom. Really, really nice. Okay, um, now we just plug in the numbers. I forgot what they were. I haven't done this problem yet, so this will be interesting. So uh, th this is, these are our points that we're going to be using. This is our x1, y1, and our z1 in our plane equation. So we're gonna plug them in here for the gradient uh, as well. So we have the gradient at one, one, pi over four. So that's equal to, so let's see. Um, so here we just have ones and ones. So it'll be one over one plus one times one. That's pretty easy. And this is one over one plus one times one. And this is negative one. Yeah, because the z never, z1 never gets plugged in anywhere, right? So this will just be one half, one half, negative one. And that's our ABC. So let me just switch colors here to emphasize that. This is our A. This is our B, this is our C. I'm gonna go ahead and write down the equation of a plane for you one more time so you see it. It's A times X minus X1 plus B times Y minus Y1 plus C times Z minus Z1, where A, B, C, uh, this, is, this is our normal vector, okay, for our plane. And we know that in this case, uh, it's the gradient here. So, oh, and our point, let me write that down again. It's right here. Our point 
this is our x1, this is our y1, this is our z1. So it'll be 1 half, parentheses x minus 1, plus, and then b is 1 half, parentheses uh, y minus 1, and then c is minus 1, and then z minus z1, so pi over 4. And that's all equal to 0. Very good. Yeah, x1, y1, z1. All looks good. Okay, and we can just leave it like this or we can clean it up. I'll go ahead and clean it up. 1 half times x is 1 half x. 1 half times negative 1 is negative 1 half. 1 half times y is just 1 half times y. And 1 half times negative 1 is just minus 1 half. Then we have negative 1 times z. And then negative 1 times negative pi over 4 will give us pi over 4. Did that pretty quickly. Let's just check. Good. Looks good. Good. Let's write down the variable terms first. 1 half x plus 1 half y minus z. I always mess up at the end, so I should be really careful. <laughs> minus 1 half minus 1 half. That's minus 1 plus pi over 4. And just maybe it's good form just to write it on the other side. So this is 1 half x, oops, 1 half x plus 1 half y minus z. And then adding the 1 and subtracting pi over 4 will leave us with this over here. And that should be the equation of the tangent plane. I hope this video has been helpful and hopefully uh, it's, you know, it's helped you just even just a little bit. Good luck.